Well, we got someone in here that likes staring at their monitor and making everyone wait. So we're we're waiting on that. And uh yeah, Mitch is saying figure out what I was saying there, but we got a lot of people in this race that we know and a lot of viewers. Hopefully it'll be good. Tracy on pole. I, one of the slowest people out here. So that is where we're at. Right rear scares me a bit. Um, it was wearing a little more than I expected for how the car felt. So, I am going to just yeah, make sure that we're in the back because I didn't even screw up my qualifying lap. I was just a tenth off of my normal pace, and that put us miles behind. So, hey, at least the 12 joined the grid as quick as he could. Didn't didn't want to fast forward through qualifying. But yeah, sixty laps, not gonna be a lot to work with. There's no tight change It's a night race because I don't Straight know why right. the hell everything's a night race lately. Like we have this oval refresh and we're stuck racing night. The car behind us has his wheels turned hard. I think that might be Zach. Alright, got it figured out before he gunned it and ran into the car. Next to him, David looks to be blinking really bad back there. But, yeah, we gotta, I don't know, we gotta figure something out here because I am trash. The races that I've been quick in, I've gotten wrecked by elderly old men that get angry when anyone passes them so it's not not been a great week sadly those were in the clean series that I run so uh, we're gonna have to hope that some of these other series are good but if you watch that cars race that was a surprise well and not a surprise but Hopefully this will be the same. Hopefully I can keep the right rear on it, and uh, if I can't, I don't know. I might just be a. I might just be getting old now. Lost any ability to go fast. I think that's what's happened. So I've hit the peak. It's over with. We're going down to a 800 I rating soon. Let's see what happens. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Didn't get a good start. Outside line did not get a good start. Drive it in really deep here because we got to get off the corner side by side. I'm going to try to make the right front pay. About the six car. He's hit the wall now. Off the corner, but he did wait a long time to drop down to the inside line, so. Yeah, but he's running that high line. Maybe that's to heat up the right front. I don't know. And. No. I think we're about to see Rick. Drop back here. Try to save some tire and try to be away from the wreck that's about to happen. Looks like it's 
calming down ahead. They get sorted out and pull away. Big thing, don't hit the wall. Don't want to do that. Well, we got loose off the corner. That's going to jam them up into turn one. Foot covering the brake right now, just in case. Might just be too cautious here. Let's try to catch up a bit. Someone's in the wall up ahead. Biggest thing I am concentrating on is don't have those loose moments. I don't think it's going to turn out like Kern, but it was definitely wearing the right rear more. So I don't want to start getting loose because that will be very difficult to make a pass down low. happened to the, the 15, but the yellow, yellow car up there, we went straight to the wall. So Devin, trying to work on him while the 6 is... I think the 6 is just looking sketchy because his internet's a bit trash. I don't think he's hitting the wall that often. Looks. Almost contact there. Zach's doing well behind us. He's been able to take it easier. I tried to push for no reason, but also feel like I'm not getting it feels like everyone ahead of us is really tight on exit. So I don't know if they're just getting on the gas way too early in the center. Devin makes the pass. He's going to walk away now. So the two cars that have had the most issues so far in this race are right next to each other. Mellow Yellow and the six car, and I don't know why I said Mellow Yellow so weird there, but... Let's see if they survive each other. Six setting up a crossover, they come together got to the outside. Now Steven, sometimes I've seen from him, he just needs to be patient here and not get caught up in their mess, but I don't know if he can do that. I don't know if he has that ability to be patient. We'll see. We will find out a lot about Steven right now. Right now he hasn't thrown it three wide, so that's a positive. Mellow Yellow has been extremely pushy, tight, having wall hits. Everyone's passing him on the outside though, because he is struggling. They all make it. Alright, well. 
and we just need to set up a crossover because I don't want to go to the outside if I don't have to. Even into the wall. I nearly put it in the wall. Didn't quite get it to turn down. That is why I don't want to go to the outside of the mellow yellow car. He's really struggling off the corner with how it shoots up to the wall. But we might not even be fast enough to pass him, so... Maybe that's why the high side pass worked, was because this guy was having to slow down more to keep it low. Now he's blinking all over, so we don't even know where he's at. Just had to go there and hope that he was where it said he was. Okay, we're into 8th. That went smoother than I thought for the situation. Ooh. That was a weird hook. It's like the left rear hit the uh, apron and turned. That was strange. Alright, we need to go last lap. Figure out where the speed is. by backing off because the front guys are just gone as they always are. Steven's getting extremely tight it looks like so Maybe we can find a way around him. We can do a little bit of brake dragging on entry. Crossover just doesn't really seem to happen in this car because the speeds are so high you really don't gain that momentum that you do with the crossover in other cars. Get him to go up high. If we 
make him think that the high side is good. We might be able to get under him, get the pass done. I think he's going to fall for it. Especially when he's got a car he's catching. Alright. Getting checked up here now. Six. Six was a bit slow there on entry. Instead of trying to do the crossover, but we should be able to pass the six fairly easy. It looks like he's dropping off hard. Side, we'll be able to pass him side by side, so or double file restarts. Good clean racing. get the outside so that might be good for us we're gonna have to be aggressive here and get what we can quickly good tough racing though a little worried we might have took too much out of the car there so hopefully we can cool the tires off and be just fine didn't feel like it was getting loose or tight but we'll do our best to get around this guy and hopefully the outside line gets a good start Road is closed. 
Gonna be tough though. Most likely going to get stuffed in the wall. Out of two. We were not giving him a whole lot of room off the corner. Doubt he's gonna give us a whole lot. Left us six, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Just need the outside line to get a good start and one to go next time by then get a run off the corner and hopefully clear him. Things are gonna get jammed up here. So just gonna have to take risk and be aggressive and hope we don't screw it up and screw someone else up. About to go green, stay focused. The pace car is off, be ready. Inside line got a horrible start. Connor about died. We get lucky there. I think we tricked everyone into going early there. Because I flinched and it made the cars on an inside flinch, I think. So now we got to be in sixth on the outside. And it looks like... Nice. Justin yeah. in the 7 might have been involved in that. I don't remember seeing his name back there. But we got extremely lucky, lucky nice. with yeah. that start. Kind of like the initial start where the opposite lane didn't go. Now, we can just get ahead of Steven. Then... We will get to fifth, and that will be pretty much where our race ends. Because I don't think we're going to go as quick as those guys up front. They just checked out. Whole different level for them. Zach only got one spot, so he's going to move to the inside row now. Closed. Pit road is closed. But we're going to be nine to go when we restart here. This point, your tires are as cool as they're gonna get after that many pace laps. There's no need to go try to cool them more. And then after they cool them, they scrub them. But we don't have pickup, so. I mean, it does show on the tires, but it's not a thing that affects anything like it should. So, I'm just watching the one. When I see him flinch, I'm going to go and hope that everyone in front of me goes as well. The pace car is in. 
It. They are dying back there. What was that? Like someone just shot in five wide back there. Well, we're still in sixth. We were slow on that start. I wasn't ready for him to go that early. Unfortunately, uh, not going to get to race this one out very catch far. Catch up one, car. Catch up three, car. I have no idea what the hell that was. It was like someone got sent to the inside and then they just all plowed into each other. But Zach paid for it. That was like right at where he was, so back of the field looks like it's flipped around the 12 is off now but he might have been off this whole time and we gotta do some more pacing I don't know. Like, we need to get the jump. I'm worried about Steven moving up to try to get a better entry, though, if we are next to him. So we got to watch out for that so we don't get sent up the track and lose a bunch of spots. I also got really tight on exit there, trying to get off the corner. Might just catch up one car, catch up three car, catch up one car, catch up the brakes all the way back, go for some rotation on entry. And be better on the start, although now Mitch has got the lead. Hopefully we can just go to the end here. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Getting a good run. Need to stop him from driving the outside line. I keep sliding up the fucking track like that. I cannot turn the damn car on corner entry at the moment. Alright, P5. 
we did a little move on him there. It worked out perfect with uh, where he cleared us and where we had that run coming from. That's as good as we can ask for, and it was a clean race for everyone we were around. Even though I thought they were going to wreck, it was a good race. Woo! Wish we would add some more green laps there, but I think the lack of green laps saved us a bit. Also, I moved the brake bias back, and that just made us tight as hell. This front stagger is so weird. I thought it would help us out, but I should have known better. We should have went all the way forward. Um, 84.74, but it was not melting the right rear. Let's go take a look at what happened out there. David, Blinken. This is the 11. He was definitely having issues off of two. David Blinken, David Blinken, David Blinken. Wall hit. David Blinken, David Blinken, David Blinken. David, you're blinking too damn much. We're gonna skip ahead to the first caution. Thirteen. And thirteen just getting wrecked by Justin. That's strange. Nothing. Nothing that we can see happen there. I don't... Yeah, maybe the 13 just really slowed up more than anyone thought. Three wide on the start. He backs off, but way too hard. And he just, like, jammed on the brakes there, and... There's nothing the 15 can do there. Like, he needed to just lift off, and he would have got out of that, but I understand what he was trying to do. And then, I have no idea what the 12 was doing, but that was the guy that wouldn't hit the button so that we could go for qualifying. So, he drops down to the apron, Understand that, but whatever. He takes a horrible corner entry, which makes him lose a bunch. He pushes up into the two cars on the outside of him, then dives it down four wide, then comes up and wrecks everyone. That that was impressive. going, more blinking, and it's over. So, um, yeah, so there you have it. Let's take a look at the results, and then I'll go talk to these guys. We get out of there clean. We have a good race. We're not terribly slow. 25 I rating gain, but we're all the way down to 44 because of the last few races. We gained some safety rating up to a 491, and yeah, that was tough. It was a really tough race, but a very clean race, even though we were, I mean, I was not given that six any room. Like, let's go look at that. I was, I was trying way too hard and putting myself at risk here. Because every time we came off this corner, I felt like I was not giving him any room. Let's get to those. I mean, maybe I was, but it felt like I was. Yeah, I mean, this is way too close. That is dangerous. Like, I could have easily wrecked us, especially with his little twitch that he had in his internet. And then... Uh, the sort of... Oh, shit. 
sorry, sort of move of the race for us is getting past so that we could turn it left with our run and get that inside line. And I think I could have been a little quicker if I would have went forward with the brakes instead of back. But we overdrive the corner. That gives us a big run out of the corner. And oh, luckily we just had that room. He couldn't react in time. We can't turn. We run him up the track a bit. Luckily I didn't clip the apron. Otherwise that would have killed all our momentum. I think we hit him again here. We're slow out of the corner for sure because I couldn't get the damn thing to turn. And I shove a little wide again. Get to run off the corner. Watching ahead, seeing if they're going to run into each other, but they're not going to give us free spots. E5, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.